Thomas in the gun. And on the fly sweep, trying to get it, David Wilson, and he loses yardage. Quarter. Wilson. Michigan got penetration. Now he's trying to head the other way, and he's going the wrong way, and he's going down way back near the 30-yard line. Pursuit to the football. Greg Rose, the guy who's going to get the first penetration, number 88. He's the one who alters the course of David Wilson. And then Jake Ryan gets the tackle, but the quick penetration by Rowe, and then a bad decision, really, by David Wilson. They're down to nine. Robinson, quick slant, and he got the first down. He throws the ball pretty well. Good quick read. The ball is low and away from the defender. Coger, the tight end in motion. And now, Desaun had to break a tackle in the backfield, and once he did, he picked up another first down. But was not able to get Toussaint to the ground. And this was going to be a loss of two, and a nice job by Toussaint breaking a tackle. And Thomas may have changed things up. He's just going to toss it to Wilson, trying to get to the edge again. <laughs> Last time he lost about 22 <laughs> yards when he turned around. This time he lost three. Yeah. Oglesby stays in there with Thomas in the backfield. This time, the decision was made for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. down and long. Well, you get there right at the mesh point, and that's what Demons did. You know, be right as Logan Thomas was pulling that ball out of. More than one and a quarterback sneak. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Mm. Here, everybody out of here and measure this. There's Mike Martin right in the middle and Van Bergen, the two leaders of this defense. 53 and 68, just submarining at the pile. An all-important measurement coming up as the chain gang is out there. And he didn't get it. Wow. Length of the football short. And now Denard Robinson, and he's got his first big play of the game. Seeing him get to his first step, this was the cleanest look that he's had. A deliberate fake to Toussaint, then Toussaint, once he knows he doesn't get the ball, he becomes a lead blocker. And Denard Robinson just gets right on his hip. I'd wear orange gloves. No, if I, I was going to hold. I'd, I'd wear, wear yellow ones. gloves yeah, or so white yellow. gloves. And now yeah. Wiles hit as he punts, and flags fly in. Now will it be roughing the punter or running into? Personal foul, roughing the kicker on the defense number 26, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. They get a first down. Well, it's up to the rusher to go with the right angle and not into the kicker. Go to a spot where the ball will come off the foot so that you go by the kicker and not into the kicker. They started at their own four-yard line, though, after stopping Virginia Tech on downs. And now they moved it into Hokie territory. Toussaint still on his feet inside the 40. Michigan third down at 17. Blitz coming off the corner. Robinson got away from it, throws, and caught! And it's a touchdown! Junior Hemingway! He's trying to call timeout because of the formation. Robinson buys a little time and, quite frankly, just threw this one up. Eddie Whitley went for the interception, number 15, and missed, and the result was a touchdown. Prob this is picture perfect if you're a Michigan fan. Well, it was made by Denard Robinson, eluding the rush. That was their best player, Kyle Fuller, that was in there and couldn't bring him to the ground. And then a heads-up play by Hemingway on the other end. And on third and 17, just pick up 45. And on your way, score a touchdown to take the lead. A missed sack and a missed interception and a touchdown for Michigan. You get a great look at it there. Kick goes to Tony Gregory at about the four-yard line. And Gregory lost the ball. Michigan trying to get to it. We've got flags down, and the Wolverines have got the football. Well, ball security, special teams, J.B. Fitzgerald, number 42, from behind the play, punches it out. And Hollowell is going to come up with the loose ball, but it was Fitzgerald who punched the ball out from behind. And what a turnaround here right at the end of the first half. And Michigan 
at the 26-yard line. Toussaint and around. Gallant trying to get to the far side, and he got a pretty good gain out of it. Watch Denard Robinson get a block on a defensive tackle. <laughs> he might have got the worst of it, but that enabled Gallon to turn it into a positive play. And it's a fake. Dilios looking to throw. Does. And tipped. Caught by Michigan. The snapper, Jared Glanda, caught the ball. <laughs> Seconds remaining. Was touched by a defender, then caught by the offensive player. Therefore, by rule, the catch was legal. The air by Virginia Tech. Glanda was able to make the catch. There's the fake. Dillard got a block from the kicker, or he wouldn't even have had a chance to throw this thing. And then he just wobbles one up there, hits a Virginia Tech player, and caught by the long snapper. Talk about a dream come true in a bowl game for number 54, huh? <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> wow. Brendan Gibbons, sophomore out of West Palm Beach, Florida. And he got the field goal up and good. Michigan 10 points in the final 49 seconds. Third down and three here by the Hokies. Thomas, the stiff arm, but they're going to bring him down. Maybe that was a good timeout. 49. David Wilson takes a couple steps up. They fake the handoff, and it's intercepted. Right off the hand of Logan Thomas by Frank Clark. And out of Cleveland Glenville High School, right between the quarterback and the intended receiver, times his jump perfectly and gets the interception. I'm sure Logan Thomas is thinking at 6'6", he can drop this ball over the top of Frank Clark. Watson, one of the tight ends, runs out to the top of your screen. Denard Robinson going to go to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Hemingway for the second time. To the end zone you get another look you only have to have one foot down with control there's the catch there's the foot down this was another late throw down the field but a beautiful job body control to make the catch see this is a great throw because you put it in a spot where either your guy catches it or it's incomplete out of the back of the end zone there could see it was man coverage and when the tight end went in motion watson that's going to force Hosley, who's a better cover guy, to go out there, and the safety axum is going to be left on Hemingway. That's a better matchup for Michigan. Put the corner on the tight end. Now your wide receiver draws a safety in single coverage, and Hemingway able to beat him to the football. Third down and three, a big third down for Virginia Tech. They fake it to Wilson and throw it. To the fullback, Phillips, and he's brought down in the open field by Kovacs. Virginia Tech, he's been pretty quiet. He's your big play receiver. He's in motion to the slots, the top of your screen. And off play action, Thomas running for his life, and he's tripped up. Great play by Jake Ryan. It's to it. Watch the top of your screen. Boykin's going to run the out, and he's open. But Jake Ryan doesn't let Logan Thomas turn the corner. Um, I think I could use a doctor when this one's over, whether it's John or my own private physician. Down at 10. Empty backfield. Thomas steps up, and he's going to be tripped up and go down, courtesy again of Ryan Van Bergen. Same thing. They're seniors who have played a lot of ball here, but they bought in completely to what we wanted to do. You know, they were a 3-4 defense before this year. and they Cole in the slot left. They're going to run it the other way. Thomas broke one tackle. Won't get away from the second wave, though. He lost a yard. He audible to an option, but he wasn't able to get outside. Good penetration by Craig Rowe, number 88. Slowed the play down. Definitely, I think this is the right decision. Your defense has played lights out. They have stoned this Michigan offense. Cole is a wide receiver, remember. Oh. And he's going to be put down, and the ball comes out at the end. He was trying to kick it at the end yards of offense punt the football make him go the long field yeah he was going to try to kick it at the very end when he realized he wasn't going to convert 
But this guy, Jake Ryan, has made a bunch of plays. Maybe none bigger than that one right there. To show for it. Second and ten. Robinson play action. Throws, completes. They pick up ten more to Roundtree. Fuller way inside on the coverage with a big cushion. A nice, easy throw. Of the special teams, miscue by Virginia Tech. Denard Robinson, quarterback draw. Inside the 30, first down. Gives you this look. Virginia Tech's bringing pressure. So if you get past the initial line, you've got a little running room. Couple blockers out in front, and Denard Robinson gets past the initial rush and picks up a first down. Wolverines go with two tight ends. Gibbons from 39, kick on the way, it's perfect. Good Wilson on the kick return from the four-yard line. Great speed, if he can find an opening, he's not going to find one. Wow, great coverage by the Wolverines. Field goal to tie, touchdown might win it. Wilson won't break tackles this time, might lose a yard, he will. Thomas going to go to the end zone, Cole! Did he catch it? He did! Touchdown! Oh, here's the call. After further review, the receiver did not maintain control of the ball throughout the play. Pass is incomplete. From 37 in overtime. This one is no good. Wide right. Michigan with a 37-yard field goal in overtime to win. Gibbons, kick on the way, and it is perfect. Wolverines in overtime. The All-State Sugar Bowl champion. in overtime and the Michigan Wolverines for only the fifth time in school history have won 11 games.